Hi, I'm Jessica with the Hood School of Acting, and today I want to talk about striving to be the best you can in your industry. So I have three people I'm going to share with you. I believe these three people are the best in their field, and I want to share some details that they did to make them the best in their field. So I'd love to start with Kobe Bryant. Kobe was one of the best basketball players of all time. Kobe had a very strict routine. He would focus on getting 10 baskets from each spot on the court, and he wouldn't move on until he got all 10 baskets. Kobe also had a training session of two hours of weightlifting daily, two hours of cardio, high intensity training and sprints daily, and two hours of basketball drills daily. So if you add that up, that's six hours of workout daily. He would get up 4 a.m. just to practice, and that's on top of the 10 baskets from each spot on the court. That's a lot of work. He strived to be the best in his field, and he became one of the best in his field. Steven Spielberg, a director we all know and love. Steven Spielberg started out early with his first feature film in 1971, Duel. Now I've done this as the movie of the week before, but something very interesting about this film is that he went against all odds. He had 10 days to film a 76 page script. And in that film, they wanted him to film in the studio and he didn't, he wanted to film on location. It was very difficult for him to do it, he did. Now, as we mentioned before in the movie of the week, the studio wanted the ending to be different. And he said, absolutely not. I'm sticking to my guns and I'm gonna do the ending the way that I see it. The thing about Steven is that he always followed his instincts and he really did what he believed was the truth in that moment for him. And look where he is now, one of the best directors of all time. The legendary Sir Anthony Hopkins, who has moved us in many ways over the years. Anthony Hopkins is known to read the script 200 times before filming. He says that it helps him feel more free knowing that his dialogue is 100% down and he wants to be free to be able to play in the moment. Anthony Hopkins has said that when he's not filming, he memorizes a poem daily to keep his brain active. He is constantly working to improve himself and to become better as a person and as an actor. This is what we all wanna to work towards. These three individuals are legends in their field for going above and beyond and striving to be the best they can. Think about that yourself. When you're going to an audition, put that extra work into it. When you're in class, put the work into it outside of class so that way you can be prepared. We should work towards being the best we can. Thanks for watching. And as always, you're welcome to join a free class online or in person. Just click the link below.